Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim Henderson bringing you a late in the day world news update. Today in the Washington Post, it was reported that there are attacks by Israeli settlers over disputed area in the West Bank, uh, the, the tensions there. In Haaretz, Israeli army deployed Iron Dome after projectiles fired from the Gaza. In Israel Hayoim, Iran says there is no chance of negotiations with the U.S. regarding the U.S. sanctions against Iran. Iran is, you know, looks at the U.S. almost, if not equal to, with the same hatred and vitriol as they do Israel. In Bloomberg, it reports that Trump wants a China deal and he wants a stocks rally. I believe, I, I've, I've said, I don't even remember when it was, if it was a couple weeks ago, a week ago, that I had a vision of catastrophe. I believe that could be also financial, an element of that in nature. It's coming. It's coming. So I'm not surprised to see things like that. In the Express, Russia and U.S. had a mid-air face-off with fighter jets as they scrambled to block a spy plane near the border. The tensions continue to increase with countries. And then in The Guardian, Russia passes laws to jail people for 15 days for disrespecting the government. You know, it was about a year ago or in the past year that Russia made it law that you can no longer talk about the Bible or Jesus outside of the sanctuary walls of a church. So it is illegal to evangelize or proselytize to share the gospel of grace for Russian believers to do that. Look at what China is doing and the alliance between Russia and China. I, it's an atheistic government. You can't buy Bibles really online or I, I don't know about in stores. Things have to be provided by the government. They, they have underground churches, yet the Chinese underground church continues to flourish. Believers in Iran, that church underground is flourishing. And I believe in Russia as well. It seems to be where there's that persecution. Man, the church is growing. Brothers and sisters, the globalist New World Order is already at hand. The veil is being thinned and we are seeing things. We are in the final moments of the end of days. Well, that's it for the world news updates today. You can see the tensions between Hamas and Israel. Unbelievable, the tensions there. You can see the tensions between Russia, Russia and the U.S., between Iran and the U.S., <laughs> between China and the U.S., in Venezuela, U.S.-backed coup. You've got allies, Brazil, Israel, the U.K., in supporting Maduro. You've got Russia, China, Turkey, North Korea, Iran, at any moment, but also at any moment, our bride group comes. Well, unless there's something really critical that Holy Spirit moves me to, and should the Lord tarry, I will be on tomorrow with morning, probably news update or a word from, as the Holy Spirit gives it to me. I want to tell you, God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. I'm getting ready to go get myself some hot green tea. Um, I feel fine. I feel fine. And praise God, I will have my voice back tomorrow morning in full force and effect in the name of Jesus. Love you guys. Have a great evening.